In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add your own custom fonts to the Buddy Boss theme, which will then be available for selection in our typography options. And in that way you can add as many custom fonts as you want and they work within the theme options. And we've also added support for Elementor and Beaver Builder page builders. So I'll show you that later in the tutorial as well. All right, to get started, we're going to add some of our own custom font families. You can see I have two here that I already added myself. I'm gonna go ahead and click new font. And before you get started, you have to actually have some font files to upload. So that's on you to find your own custom fonts. You can buy them or download them from a free site. So we mentioned here, try font squirrel. We have no affiliation with them. Um, they're just a really popular resource for finding free fonts. So if you wanna try here under the font filter, make sure to click web font. So that will limit it to web fonts only. There's another type of font for example, a system font that you would use in a Mac or Windows, you wanna make sure you're using web font. And then we can click add variation. And you can see we support three different font file types, the three most popular web types, WOFF, WOFF2, which is a more modern version of that, and TTF. And if you can find all three, that's great. A lot of the times when you find a font online, it's only gonna give you one or two of these. Just upload whatever you have, it'll work in most scenarios. So if I come here, you can see um, some are TTF, some are OTF. So the OTF ones wouldn't work, but you could download the TTF. All right, so I see this font, Caladia has four styles. So let's download that, it's a TTF. And here it is. So we have Caladia bold, bold italic, italic, and regular. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna give it a name. I believe I spelled that right, Caladia. The name that you add here is going to show up in this drop down, so you want to give it a name so you can remember it and then we're going to have to create a variation for each of the files so that you can then select the different font family types so let me add my first variation we're going to add a ttf file so we'll click caladia bold all right so that's caladia bold select that and we're gonna set the weight to bold and the style is normal. Style is either normal or, or italic. So unless it specifically says italic, you should assume normal. And for the weight, it's so, somewhat arbitrary. Even if you pick this wrong, it wouldn't really matter. Whatever you pick here is then used as a reference here, but you want it to make sense. So generally, like where it says bold here, this is not an actual standard. Different font families will name these different things. So they might say regular, they might say normal, they might say other stuff like that. But these are kind of the most common ones. So you'll wanna match it as closely as you can. So that's Caladia Bold, so we're gonna say it's bold and the style is normal. Okay, let's add another variation and we're going to upload the next file. So that's bold italic. And we'll pick that. So this one we're also gonna select as bold and style will be italic. We're gonna add another one. That's just Caladia regular italic. So we're gonna set this as normal and style will be italic. And then we'll add our last one. Lady regular. So we're gonna set that as regular or normal, same thing, style and normal. And let's publish that. So now if I go to custom fonts, Caladia is one of our options. All right, so then we're gonna to want to add this font in with some of our theme options. So make sure you have typography enabled. Let me also refresh this so that I know that my font Caladia shows up, which it does. And if I go in here, this is what an H1, or I guess that's an H2 would look like. So let me go to H2 and I'll select Caladia and I'll select, let's say normal 400. H1, I'll also pick Caladia. Let's refresh. And so now we can see it's using our Caladia font. So if we inspect in the browser, 
we can see H1, font family Caladia. Font weight 400. So we can go in here, let's say, let's do bold italic. So now we can see H1s and H2s are showing up in italic, but you'll notice they're not all bold. So let me look at this. So we can see the font family set is Caladia and the style is italic and the weight is at 700, but that font weight is being overwritten by some other style in the theme. So that kind of thing is gonna happen sometimes. It's not unique to our custom fonts. It's actually, even if you pick other fonts, periodically the font size or the font weight or style could get overwritten by something, a custom override in the theme or by something from some external plugin that you add. That kind of stuff happens with fonts all the time. So if you wanna force it, you can always do that in your child theme CSS, but the correct font is actually loading here. And especially in areas like WordPress pages where you're writing content, this will be very noticeable. And we can go ahead, I have some other fonts that are cool, like this one, Bangers, is just very obvious. So if I refresh that, you can see that's working. And then if you ever wanna go back to the default fonts that came with the theme, those are SFUI text and SFUI display. So we could do like that. And then things will start to go back to normal. All right, so now I wanna show you how these fonts work when using Elementor and then Beaver Builder. So let me first activate Elementor. And you can see we have our custom Elementor header that we've added. So let me go into Elementor Theme Builder. And I'm gonna edit the header with Elementor. And this would work in the header, footer, page templates, really just anywhere where you see these Elementor blocks. So let me go into this element here and I'll go into style and typography. And you can see I had already selected a custom font from playing around with this earlier. I can go and select our Caladia font. And th this list of font weights, Elementor controls basically always shows all of these, no matter what we do, we don't have the, the ability to override this. So you'll just wanna pick the, kind of you'll have to go reference the font section and pick the weight that you set up for it. I can update that. Now we have our Caladia custom font added. And then let me go ahead and set this up for Beaver Builder. So you can see I'm activating Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer. And when I do that, You'll see we also have a custom header set up just from my own testing here in Beaver Builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the header the same way. And in Beaver Builder, I've got this pop-up and under fonts for that section. In here, it's a little different. It's gonna show all our custom fonts in system. They don't give us the ability to add our own Buddy Boss section to make it more clear. There's all the Google fonts and then under what they call system is where our custom ones get dumped into. So you could pick Caladia here and I'll click save and publish. And then now Caladia is being used in this element. So as you can see, this is very powerful. You can add your own custom fonts and add them basically anywhere throughout the site now.